Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. Today I'm reviewing Toy Story 4. This was directed by Josh Cooley and is voice acted by Tom Hanks, Annie Potts, Keanu Reeves, Key and Peele and a variety of other voice actors. And this is the fourth film within the series and it hasn't lost of any of its appeal. This really looks at how Woody's always been confident in his place in the world and his priority is always taking care of his kid, whether that's Andy or Bonnie. But when Bonnie adds a reluctant new toy called Forky to her room, a road trip adventure alongside old and new friends will show Woody how big the world can be for a toy. This is sort of really focuses on Woody and who he is as a toy, I guess, and his place in the world and trying to find his purpose once more. And he feels neglected and, and, and he feels lost, which a lot of us do. And these are very relevant and relatable struggles that people have. And I think that's always really great with these films. And he really, throughout the film, finds his purpose. And I kind of really like that and I connected a lot to that. I think this time around the animation is absolutely astonishing and breathtakingly beautiful. There's moments within this film that you sort of start to wonder if it's reality or animation. And that's all to do with the animators and what they're able to accomplish with computers now. It's just phenomenal. It just, all the characters sort of pop in a way. Like, especially Bo Peep, like she's sort of made out of porcelain and the way that light reflects off her face. It's just absolutely brilliant. So I think they've really outdone themselves here, especially with the animation. This, it's a solid, solid story. It's fun and entertaining. That's all you really want from these Toy Story movies. I went in expecting something and I got something else, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that going in expecting things to turn out one way and they turn out completely different. Because I was still entertained and still had fun with this film. I think it was a solid story. I must admit I hadn't seen Toy Story 1, 2 and 3 for quite a while. 3 was always one I really enjoyed because of the story and the characters within that and the way that they took those characters and did something different with them. I really liked that. But it had been a while since I'd seen them so going into this I'd forgotten many things that the, especially that the toys Woody and, and Buzz and the rest of them had been given to Bonnie and I had forgotten that and it took me a little while to understand what was happening, I guess you could say. I think all the voice acting is really great in this. Tom Hanks shines once again, so does Tim Allen, you know, returning as Buzz. There's uh, all the traditional Toy Story characters we've known and loved appear and, in, and have moments within this film. But what really is the standouts here are the new contributing characters, such as uh, Keanu Reeves' character. Keanu is absolutely fantastic in this, I think. He does a really great job, has some fun moments, and he just, he just owns this particular role. I love he's got a motorbike and he also has a handlebar moustache. And he really handles that really well. And his voice work is brilliant. I want to see him do many more of these sort of roles, especially animation. He just has the, the unique voice for these sort of particular animated films and the characters that he does play. And he has some really, really great moments and he's a real standout in this film. Key and Peele are fantastic as well as a stuffed chicken and, and rabbit. And just their comic timing. These two guys are these two guys are just a brilliant and one of the best comedy duos out there. They're just fantastic to watch and listen to in this film. And they add a lot of their humor to it that really makes this film entertaining and really, really funny. There's moments within this which we saw in the trailer where they're trying to work out how to get something particularly done and they start imagining how they would do it. And these scenes are absolutely hilarious. But the real standout for me is Bo Peep. She's absolutely fantastic in this. And maybe I didn't realize this, I didn't think of it. I didn't realize she was voiced by Annie Potts. And I love Annie Potts ever since Ghostbusters and the variety of roles she's been in. She's just really, really great. And Bo Peep just steals every scene she's in. She, she put a really interesting spin on her character. And they did something different with her, the idea that She'd left Woody and the rest of them and was given to somebody else and that kid outgrew her and rather than finding another kid to become the toy of, she ultimately just set out on herself and became free and became part of this unique odd group of toys and playing by her own rules and doing what she wants to do and there's, real, there's a real freeing aspect to her character in this and I really love that. And they take such a well-known character we've always known and they give her something to do and they give her an exciting backstory and we learn more about her. She's been living for the last seven years as part of this sort of carnival 
that's what she wants to become part of. And I really loved that. And I thought she was just fantastic in everything. Every aspect of her in this film was really, really great. She was funny and entertaining and very kick-ass as well, which I didn't expect. And I thought she really shone in here and stole the scenes and the movie from everybody, in my opinion. Woody is great as well. He has his great moments. It's a character we've always known. They evolve him emotionally a little bit more. And we learn a bit more about him. And we also see also see the conclusion to that particular storyline and I really like that as well and Woody finally finds his place within the world and where he, he belongs and I really like that I think he's been an interesting character all along he's always trying to find his purpose and his role in the world in all of the films and it's just good to see that he sort of has a new direction in this film and by this closing off the storyline this sort of opens many opportunities to do a variety of other things and take the Toy Story films in a completely different direction with a whole new bunch of toy characters. Whether they do that or not, I don't know, but it, but it does offer that opportunity, which I think is really great. There's a lot to like about this film, and especially if you enjoyed the previous film, you should really get a kick out of this one, I think. Even though I enjoyed this film and it's solidly done, and it's one of the better films of this year, I'm telling you, there's been some real rubbish, and it's, this is a breath of fresh air in a lot of ways for all the rubbish that we've got, even though it is a sequel to a well-known series. I just felt there was a couple of things that I sort of didn't like as much with this film. And they're only minor, smaller things. One of the big things is it took me quite a while to get into this film. I didn't really feel a connection with it. Maybe I should have watched the other three films previously before going into this. But I just didn't connect to Woody. I didn't connect to anything that was happening until they went on their adventure, until they went on their road trip. This is where the film really took off. And it got even better once we were reintroduced to Bo Peep. That's where the film sort of took off for me. But before that, it just took a little while for me to really connect to it or get into it. And the other thing I would say is, I unfortunately expected this film to go in a one particular direction, and it didn't really go that way. It went, which was good in a way, I suppose, because it was a surprise that it didn't go the way I expected. But I just felt it could have went in an interesting direction that I would have connected to a lot more. I always thought this would be Woody's odyssey. You know, he goes on this adventure, he goes through all these things, he meets different people, and he evolves and changes his purpose and place in the world and finds his home. These things do happen, but I just felt there could have been a more focus on this. And that's just like a little nitpick that I have about it because I didn't really connect to it and I didn't have him going through the journey that I expected him to. Not saying he doesn't go through a journey, not saying he doesn't meet interesting people and learn and grow. And it is in a way like Homer's Odyssey. He does go on this journey and he does find his way home, so to speak. And I thought that was good, I guess. But they were the only two things that I sort of didn't quite connect to. Other than that, it was a solid and well-made film. It was a very funny, some great humor in it, great humorous moments. After the credits, there's some other really great scenes. But Key and Peele really steal the, the scenes of humor in this film and their imagination of what they think they would do. And we get to see their imagination come to life, which I thought was really interesting. I thought Forky was an okay character, great introduction. I liked the humor they kept up with it, with the idea of how did he come to life? He doesn't even know. And I liked that because I don't really answer that and it's a unique and interesting concept and a good way to bring in a new character in a completely different way to all the other characters we've seen within this series previously. Final verdict. Look, if you're a fan of the original films, the first three films, you really like this. I don't see anyone not liking this film. It has stuff for adults, it has stuff for kids. It's just entertaining and fun and one of the better films of this year. I'm going to give Toy Story 4, 4 out of 5. I enjoyed my experience with it. It was a fun and entertaining movie and an interesting journey. And I really like what they did with a lot of the characters and the circumstances these characters found themselves in. They dealt with a lot of relevant themes and ideas, which relate, I related to in a lot of ways. What this film, I think, did well was it really felt like a real story, like real characters, not animated characters, not toys, but real people. And they were going through the same struggles and difficulties that people do, that humans do. And I really liked that. I thought that made a way for audiences to connect on a, on a deeper level, especially adults and um, especially adults and teenagers, just so there's something we can latch onto and is very relatable 
and very real and I thought that was a great contributing factor to this film and something that really made me feel a bit more for the characters than I would have previously or that I usually do for other animated films and I think it did that really well. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.